I feel like I feel like when Austin got knocked out, I saw karma work itself out in real time. I think that's what that was. Logan, yeah, Logan. I, I, I saw it. I saw it live. It was easily the biggest moment in influencer boxing. So like, like, like or one of them. I that was a was... brutal, brutal knockout for Gibbs. Gibbs is the real deal, by the way. I, I think Gibbs got a lot of running room. I think if he keeps going, he can, he can really. Do I this. just, I've only talked shit about him. <laughs> you gotta respect the seven figure Gibbs, dude. I guess I guess not. not. What, what happens when he fights Logan? Logan. Should I? Should I fight seven figure giver? I think so. I think it's a fight people a lot. I think, <laughs> listen, guys. listen, listen. No, of course not. I think he's got to do a little bit more. Who? Yeah. Um, I, look, I love the question and I'd love to answer it, but you've got one shot at a first impression and I, I want to make sure everything's concrete before I announce it, you know? So I can't say it right now. What does that mean? So I you're, say, you're still, right but you're still looking to get back into boxing yeah, for also. Sure, for sure. I think I'm going to fight in January. I think KSI. Myself and Jiddy on the Prime Scott squad are going to get on the same card in January. Oh, wow. Um, with, with hopefully Gib as well, who, who just beat Austin. So you you're officially from... inviting Gib to the card right now, essentially. Uh, Gib, we love you on our card in January. What do you remember who from... Who do you want to see Gib go against? Uh, I, I think Gib should fight Slim. Is that... I don't, it's not the same class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Give her Slim. Oh, Slim just oh, fought, he that, fought that, Before we get too far, Logan, bro, what was SummerSlam like, dog? SummerSlam. What was that like? Um, you have you have certain moments in your life where you have to clock, and SummerSlam was a life moment for me. Like, I, I watched back the footage, and I, I, I can't believe that I got to do that. You went off the top rope. On the like, table, bro. I mean, come on, what? man. That was amazing. <laughs> did you practice for that, or was that just... I, I did practice. My that move. I practiced that move twice. And the first time I practiced, my my thigh hit the table, or would have hit the... There was a crash pad, and the, and the stunt guy goes, yeah, you just broke both your femurs. So, like... Do you think you're that was a moment, like, as you're soaring through the air, man. You had, like, a Jimmy Superfly Snooker-esque kind of open up. I'll be honest with you. Before I jumped, I had this vision in my head of me breaking my femurs. <laughs> so, to be honest, I was just like, fuck it. Jump, hope for the best, aim as best as I can, and that was a five-star frog splash. Oh, <laughs> <God damn. laughs> Who was your favorite wrestler growing up? Favorite wrestler? Uh, man, probably, probably Stone Cold. Uh, he just fit the role so perfectly. You know, when you think of a wrestler, you think Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's my father. People right? are saying they think you found your calling. I think so. Is being a WWE superstar your future? Um, yeah. I don't know why I say it like that. <laughs> I don't know yeah. A guy with options. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I guess. Uh, well, because they're forcing you to choose one. That's why it probably feels weird having to choose one. Vertically. You know, it's interesting when you when you, when you do a lot. Like it's, I'm becoming like hard to categorize, which is good and bad because when you remember like the greats, they're great at one thing. I love to be great at a lot of things, but if I wonder if it dilutes, you know, what you can do. Like, what am I going to be known for? Jennifer Lopez as a fantastic actor, a singer. You can be more than one thing. Yeah, but she's Jennifer Lopez. Uh, hey, thanks. <laughs> um, let me ask you one, one last thing. Sure, this is the last one, then I gotta go. Are you gonna get serious with your girlfriend? Are you locking that down? Are we ever gonna see Jake Paul oh, or Logan Paul settle down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are we gonna see you're gonna put a ring on it? How did you get prime in a ref? That's massive. Come on, bro. We got the best team in the world. We got the best partners in the world, the best distributors in the world. We actually have a, a distributor event in Vegas at the end of the month. Uh, and we're going to be doing a live impulsive show from there as well. So, yeah, we just pride ourselves on our relationship well, and a great team. It's a big Hello. deal to get it in there. Now, this weekend, Canelo Triple G, what do you guys think? We'll be there. Who wins? Dude, 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 we have an opportunity to, to get uh, Canelo, Triple G, and Eddie Hearn on our podcast on, on Thursday. Wow. But uh, a lot it's, of other it's, stuff it's going tight, on, which, little, which it's, sounds crazy it's to a, say. It's a logistic nightmare. I'd love to do it, but it looks like we're not going to be able to. Anyways, I that's beside the point. Show. Okay.